morning everybody. Welcome back. Time to head north to the tent. Well, it's a little bit before six o'clock in the morning and down here it's supposed to rain pretty much all day long starting in about a half hour. And uh, but up north of the tent it's not supposed to rain that much at all. Be I don't know around 70 degrees and hopefully sunny. Just filled up with fuel. Now I'm gonna run in and get some groceries. I'm about an hour from the tent right now and it's still raining. This is a cell phone dead zone right here. There's no service, so I can't bring up my radar, but I sure hope it lets up. Ooh, the skies seem to be looking a little bit brighter up ahead. I'm about 20 miles from the tent right now and the rain just stopped. It was like an abrupt line. Roads are dry here. It's a little chilly in here. I think I'm going to have to start the fire. It's only 51 outside. Get the power going here. Everything looks the same. Sounds like we got some squirrels that are crawling on the tent. It was 59 when I came in here, and we're up to 61.5. I'll get that up into the 70s, it'll feel a little better. Well, see, I brought up some string cheese. I actually bought some ham end pieces. I did bring up pork steaks. I don't, uh, we didn't cook up pork steaks last time I was up here, I don't think. I haven't had a pork steak since, it's been a long time. And then I brought up some chuck steaks like I always do. Brought up a loaf of bread. chips, popcorn, stuff I've got here is at least 10 years old. 
And I just brought up some canned fruit and some canned mushrooms. I brought up this Griswold pan for up here, and I'm going to probably be using this one more than anything, so I think I'm going to switch this one. With that one, and then maybe I'll have to hang this one down there. If I don't plug this in right now, I'll hop into bed tonight and I'll have to go find it. It's raining pretty good out there now. Oh, well, it looks like 210 pictures since I was up here last. I can't believe this thing has been going for months. And look at that battery on there. It still looks pretty good. Check this out. <laughs> I noticed that some stuff was uh, moved around on the front porch. Look at that. That's a bear. <laughs> a black bear. Wow. I see right here my mom and dad brought my sister and her husband came up from uh, Florida and um, they said they were going to bring them over so here's my sister, my brother-in-law. And then here I am today so a black bear, my sister, brother-in-law, that's it. Well, I think I'm going to have some lunch. It's a few minutes after 12, and when I was at that grocery store, I just bought some of that chicken again that was already cooked. What else did I get? Um, some kind of macaroni salad and, uh, I don't know, some kind of yogurt thing. Still raining pretty good. I want to go check the other cameras, but uh, I'm not going to be walking through the woods and getting soaking wet. I'm so bored I can't stand it. I'm going to throw a jacket on and run down and, and pull one of the other trail cameras just for something to do. Take That's the one that always gets the deer on there and the wolves to see if anything shows up on that one. There's a deer right here, but this is actually when I was up here last time because I'll come up and I'll pull the camera and but I'll, I just pull the SD card and then I put a different one in there. So there it's coming back. It always likes to go back and forth. I wonder if it's the same one. So this is when I was leaving last time because I had the old bench in the back of the truck. There's a pretty nice clear picture right there. A nice shot of a timber wolf right there too. There's another deer that was there at night. There's another deer. None of those are as cool as the bear. You can see it right there going between the barbecue and the my little fish cleaning table. And then of course up on the actual porch and walking away. <laughs> that is so cool. Well, it's 5.30 in the afternoon now, still raining out, not as hard as it was before. 51 degrees, uh, just a miserable day. It's been a super boring. My dad did stop by. There's a new deer hunting area that I looked at last year, 
that we want to look at this year so he's been looking it up on google maps i walked there last year and if it dries up here it's supposed to be drier tomorrow we want to take a walk out there and see if there's any good places to put any deer stands 79.3 in here and i see now it's dropped down to 50 outside so now what i've been doing because i'm so bored i am uh trying to book a flight for to go down to louisiana at the end of this month beginning of next month Spend a few more days, but I'm not driving down next time, though. I can drive, fly it in two hours and 40 minutes about, so that's what I'm going to do. I think I'll wash the light fixture. It seems so dim, I don't know, so if I wash this up, maybe it'll seem brighter. There's the light bulb there in the back, and then this one didn't really get much brighter, but I just put a new one in there, and I think that one is brighter, so I'm going to switch the bulbs out. I, these bulbs might have been here since pretty close to when I put up the tent. It's been at least seven, eight, ten years maybe. Man, that rain just will not stop. So much for coming up north, and it's going to be sunny. That bay is so weedy this year, it's weird how it goes through its different stages. You'll have years when it's not too bad, you know, it's never weedy in the spring or in the fall. And this year even the wild rice is coming in, um, which has been a few years since we've had a lot of that in here. Nice thing is when it gets weedy during duck season you can sit right here on the porch and throw a couple decoys off the end of the dock and ducks will fly right in there. Okay, where was I? Just letting that bulb warm up even more. I do believe it's brighter. It seems so dark to me in the tent, but as I get older, my eyesight isn't as good as it used to be. I thought maybe it's just that, but no, it just needs new bulbs. I definitely think it's brighter in here now. Well, I really, really wanted pork steaks done on the fire tonight. It's been so long since I had them, but I'm not going to be able to do that in the rain, so... Do a couple of these chuck steaks up on the barbecue and uh, have one tonight, or part of one, and uh, more of it for lunch tomorrow. And I know somebody's going to complain in comments that I eat the same thing every time I come up here. And I really don't care. Pull the husk back like this and then get rid of this corn silk stuff and then put the husk back on just as best you can it's not going to be perfect and you're not going to get all of this silk out either it doesn't really matter but you get most of it and then wrap it in foil and put it on campfire or the barbecue the corn stays nice and moist it doesn't burn as easy and uh, tastes really good
I've got my meat, my potato, and my vegetable. And enough for two meals here. I still have a bunch of that chicken that I bought uh, today for lunch too. That was like 10 pieces that came in that little package. But anyway, I'm going to get this cooked up. I'll either have it for lunch tomorrow or I'll put it in the freezer and freeze it and bring it back home. Okay everyone, well, I'm going to pour me a glass of milk and it is dinner time. Well, it's 9.30 at night and the rain finally, or for a while here, has stopped. It looks like there's some more stuff that could be coming down, I'm not sure. I need to look online and see what the temperature is because since the barbecue is here and the sensor for the uh, uh, weather station is right there, it has went up 2 degrees to 52 degrees and it's not that warm out here. Looks like it's 49 degrees out there. Uh, it had stopped raining but now it started raining again. Okay everyone, well Melissa and I just signed out and I think I'm going to hit the hay. Good morning everybody. It's about a quarter after five. No rain. Foggy. And just so quiet all I can hear is my ears ring. Hey, mostly cloudy. A chance of rain showers in the morning. Then a chance of rain showers and a slight chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the mid to upper 60s. Northwest wind 5 to 15 miles per hour. Gusts up to 20 miles per hour in the afternoon.
it's a little off color, but otherwise it fits right in. I see that on these chairs here, it's time to make a couple more of these. This old swing right here has seen better days also. Nobody really sits in it that often. Melissa sat in it when she was up here, but uh, that's going to have to be rebuilt also. Okay, well, there we go. We're all uh, relined on the bait caster, and I put a 30 pound spider wire on it this time. I think that's similar to what I had before. I, I like just like a black braided nylon, but that's really hard to find now. But remember, before I was breaking lines, so it was definitely time. It had been a couple of years since I changed that line out. This cabin. I could hear my dad out there screwing off the uh, boardwalk, and sometime today he wants to, or sometime this weekend wants to jump in the boat and come at it from the lakeside because he's about 10 or 12 feet away from the water. I think I'll cruise over there and just see what he's doing. him off and we're gonna go look at a, a deer hunting area here before lunchtime. All right well I threw a few things in the backpack, a couple things of water and uh, Anyway, we'll head over to my dad's, pick him up, and run out to that area. That's right. And then uh, see what happens. I heard, I thought that they already started that. Yeah, but, but, but I heard now that they, they want to get one more of the 
Well, we were gone for about two and a half hours. It's about 12.30 right now. I'm gonna go in there and have some lunch. I'm hungry. I thought I could hear something and I look out and the sun's out up over the lake, but I come out here and I can hear thunder. Looks like there's spotty showers all over Northeast Minnesota. I purposely don't mow down here because all these are, or a majority of this is blueberry plants. And I see we have some ripe blueberries. Well, I got sick of picking blueberries, so I walked down uh, into the backyard over by the uh, wood pile, and there was a bunch of raspberries there, so I started picking those. But there's that spot that I try to get to every year. It's over by my the far clearings deer stand, and all of that in there is raspberries. So, and I always get over there and I miss them. So uh, I'm going to run over there right now, and maybe we can see if there's any there. I'm not going to pick a lot of them, but I'd like to go there when they're ripe and just see how many there are. Yep, there's a bunch of them. This is just the beginning part. I'll walk you back into the clearing and there's just literally millions of plants back there. Actually about one week early. There is a lot of berries out here though. We're not even into the big part yet. A little bit of a rain shower coming over here, so I popped into the pine trees here. I'll stay pretty dry underneath here. So you can see how it's kind of a mound right there, and that's all raspberries. And it, they, what they did when they cleared this whole area out, they brought these big machines in and almost made like a like a windrow of the, I don't know, the leftover brush and stuff that goes all the way down the clearing this way and there's an opening in it here and it goes all the way down that way and all those plants in there are raspberries. And it's hard to see now because they planted pine trees in here and they're all coming up and there's other brush but there's like four sets of that going across this clearing. And there, I mean it's got to be a half a mile from that side of the clearing all the way to the far end of the clearing so there is a lot of a lot of berries in here for sure here's another one here you can see where it looks like a hill going that way all the way down and again over here and it goes all the way down if you look here see if i get this right that's my dad's deer stand right there one of them Might as well walk out to the stand, see if we can get a better view of the... I'm really surprised at how tall all these popple trees have gotten already.
And you can see right there what I'm talking about right here. This is where all those bushes are growing and I can get all the berries. You go up a little ways, there's another one there. Another one up there, and there's another one beyond that. Oh, it looks like over here, off to the east, looks like another storm is coming in. I think it's time we get back to the truck. like we got back just in the nick of time. Even the power went out. <laughs> it popped back on. I'm just sitting here waiting for the rain to stop out there and I normally uh, uploading to you know, filming and uploading to Joe and Zach Survival and filming and uploading to Northern Seclusion Channel. I haven't had any time lately to watch any YouTube videos. And I've seen that Zachary um, had posted some on his channel. And I didn't even know that they bought a pop-up trailer. And he got a super deal. So I was watching this video. I mean, he only paid $500 for it. And he got over $500 in stuff that was inside. I mean, it had a, had a camp new. kitchen in there. It had a uh, camp stove and everything. I'm like, man, I wish I'd find a good deal like that. I keep wanting to go fishing. The sun will pop out, but then look over here. Look how dark those clouds are. It's going to rain again. Well, if it's going to rain out for a while, I decided I might as well start uh, editing the video for YouTube um, for that campfire bench out there. And we got over 2 hours, 12 seconds, and 2 hours, 12 minutes, and 22 seconds of footage. So I better uh, at least get started. Better than doing nothing. the Joe and Zach survival channel you remember last time I was up to the tent I brought back this bench That bird is sitting in the exact same place that the one was up there eating that uh, northern pike. Gonna be some nice coals for pork steaks tonight. That eagle is still sitting up on that tree. 
Oh, the osprey is going after it. Oh, cook up a couple of pork steaks. Like I said yesterday, I'm really looking forward to these. It's been a while. And I brought some squash and uh, a little bit of cauliflower from the garden at home. Some potato. Throw in some dehydrated onions. Put in a can of mushrooms. Okay, everyone, well, it's dinner time. All right, well, that was absolutely delicious. I've been wanting a pork steak for a long time. I'm going to throw this one in with the rest of the beef steak from last night. These vegetables are really good, too. I'm going to get them in a Ziploc and 
let them cool down a little more and then get them in the fridge. Just about the right temperature has to cool down just a little bit more. Okay, everybody, well, it's about a quarter after 10. Melissa and I just signed out of Skype, and I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Been real foggy over the lake all morning. Today I need to run out to Zachary's deer stand and check his uh, game camera. I'd like to get some of the grass mode here if it stays dry today. Maybe jump out and do a little fishing. Well, my dad stopped by and chatted for a few minutes, and then I uh, finished editing that video on the campfire, or whatever you want to call it, the camp chair. It's about, uh, I don't know, 50 minutes until lunch, so let's uh, jump in the truck and run over to Zach's stand. And I want to just, all I'm going to do this time is switch out his SD card with one from mine, and we'll bring it back and see what his uh, trail camera has on it.
Well, it's showing that battery is still at 85%, so we're pretty good. Uh, I did bring batteries just in case, but it's still, I think it was at 85% last time. All right, blank SD card is in there. I've got the one that was in there. Let's head back to the tent. Got raspberry plants back in here too. Not quite ripe yet. Okay, so here's me leaving right here, so we'll just see. This takes so many pictures, the sensitivity is too much on it. But I'll look through here, see if I see anything. Okay, well I went through all those pictures and I didn't see anything on there, so I deleted them all out. Um, I mean, even, you know, if, if, if I think it's too sensitive, it doesn't really matter. Anything that would have walked by would have been a picture, so. But right now, there was nothing on there. Well, I think I'm going to fire up the lawnmower and get some of this mowed. everything mowed up here in the front and all the way back to basically like where the driveway starts it's starting to sprinkle out right now I don't know that I'm gonna do the driveway because it's so wet but at least I got all this stuff done looks a lot better well we had a couple of little rain showers come through and now the sun's back out I think I'm gonna run down I don't know that I'll mow the driveway but I want to mow at the end of the driveway get that finished too it won't be long now and i've got to start picking stuff up because i'm heading home in the morning well i ended up killing another hour i went down there and mowed the end of the driveway and then couldn't not do the rest so anyway everything is mowed now i think what we'll do is run over and take a look at the folks's cabin the backwoods cabin we came in from the lake side and saw the boardwalk there but i haven't walked you from the cabin side out there so let's go take a peek at that before i start picking everything up This morning before my dad headed home, he uh, was always bugging him that on the gable end of this workshop, he didn't have the face board on there yet, so he got that on there and all painted up. He said it was driving him crazy. My mom's flowers are looking really good. Some of these posts out here, you kind of go through a floating bog and then it shoots down and hits and then he drives it down till it hits solid. He said some of them were nine feet long and then he uh, bolted on a 48 incher on top of that and kept driving it down until it hit something solid. It's a pretty long boardwalk though. Now we're gonna add 16 feet onto the end of that. We were talking about it when I was over here. That'll get out to the water, the water's probably 12 feet, and then uh, put like a T section of dock out there in the water.
All right, let's head back to the tent. One of the next times up here, I'm going to have to start loading the firewood up on the front porch. We're in the beginning of August now. By the, I mean, I had to have a fire this time, so it's not going to be long, and it's going to be cold up here. I have to get this thing all vacuumed and swept out, too. It's about time. Look at all the deer flies today. Well, I was going to go out fishing. Forget that idea. I completely forgot that I bought fogger for my mosquito fogger here. I haven't used this thing in probably three years. But tonight's the first night that it's warm enough the mosquitoes are kind of bugging me. So I want to see if it still works. It only helps for a couple hours, but uh, it does kill off the mosquitoes that, like in the outhouse, it will kill them off. So anyway, it's nice though, because they were sitting on the front porch there and they were dive bombing me and now I just sat up there and nothing. So it does help for a little while. I think I'll grab this chair. This is the one that uh, had the rotted board on the bottom there. Bring that back home, build two of them, and then bring this one back because it still has some time left. And then at least I'll have four chairs and the bench and the picnic table. <laughs> well, the good thing is I don't have to cook tonight. I have uh, beef steak left over. I still have chicken. I've got that uh, vegetables from last night, so I don't have to do any cooking. I can just clean stuff up. What do we end up with? Three dishes, not bad. I used up the second to the last of the canned butter here, so I've only got the one left, so I definitely have to make some more and get some up here, because I usually can go through almost one of them. If I'm up here for like three days, you'll go through one of them, so I need to get a bunch more. I was just digging through my duffel bag, and lucky I did, I forgot. I got a little wood duck figurine there that I wanted to put on one of these shelves. So many people ask me, has Melissa ever been to the tent? Is she ever going to go to the tent? There she is right there. First time we met for real, I brought her up to the tent.
I'm going to vacuum now, but looking at this carpet, it needs to be shampooed so bad. I used to do it one time every year. And then, let's see, then I got a divorce and poof, my uh, steam cleaner disappeared. <laughs> and now, then, so it hasn't been done in, what is, five years? Four, I mean, I probably haven't done this maybe four years. I don't know how long it's been. But anyway, I bought one when I bought the fifth wheel. So I could shampoo that carpeting, I keep forgetting. So I think what I need to do is get the outhouse cleaned up here. I need to come up here and shampoo the carpeting, get the wood loaded into the, the front porch and everything. Everything ready for winter. So that weekend is going to be coming up soon. This vacuum cleaner is on its very last leg. It has been for about a year and a half. I need to get a different one, I always forget. So I'm just running this one until it croaks. better. <laughs> well I have to sign in with Melissa here in about two minutes on Skype and I still have to go out and put this camera back up on the tree out there. The moon tonight is supposed to be 96% full. Just watching some of the movie 2012 again. Trying to stop sneezing because I cleaned all the counters with bleach. It's almost bedtime. Okay, everyone. Well, it's after 10 o'clock. I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning for the ride home. Okay, everyone. Well, it's been a great time up here at the tent. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.
get the heck out of the way. pretty far up north when I've driven now for 54 minutes and this is the first vehicle I've seen on the road. 